Hi kids, I'm Ruthie Ballard, back with another excerpt from Elvia and the Gift of Passion. In an earlier video titled Elvia Gets a Surprise, you learned that Elvia sent off for a DNA test and uncovered an alarming family secret. She's not German as her parents, Earl and Sally Hill, had always told her. No, she's 99.1% Zulu with a pinch of Irish thrown in. She knows that Zulu people live in Africa and she wants to find her real parents, but it seems impossible. In this video, I'm going to read a follow-up excerpt where Elvia's mother, Sally, delivers some startling news and it appears that Elvia's wish might come true. Here we go. There was no easy solution. So in September, when her science class read, You Will Save the Lions by Dr. Zenzele Bembe, a Zulu researcher in Tanzania, she latched on. Dr. Bembe and his wife lived romantic, interesting lives among the lions that they loved, and Elvia was drawn to them instantly. They were her biological parents, she decided, once more tossing reason to the wind in favor of thrill. It's obvious, Elvia thought, peering at the photo of Dr. Bemba on the back cover. I have his nose. Elvia couldn't wait to get to Tanzania, but she knew she couldn't get there on her own, at least not yet. She didn't have a driver's license, and anyway, there was an ocean to navigate and an equator to cross. Still, in the strange way the coincidence sometimes intervenes, the problem solved itself. In mid-October, her fake mother sent her a wildly unexpected bone. Guess what? I want a raffle at work, she said. Round trip airline tickets to Tanzania. We're going on a wildlife safari, honey, to Tembo National Park, the trip of a lifetime. It was so out of character for her mother to say such a thing that Elvia thought she was kidding. The Hill family never did anything unusual. Her parents hadn't taken her outside of Oregon, much less halfway around the world. But when she realized her mother was serious, her eyes grew wide and her face lit up. It was true. Tanzania, she shrieked with delight, dancing through the living room. She couldn't believe her luck. Her parents were finally spicing up her life, and more than that, Temple National Park was where Dr. Benda worked. It was a cosmic sign. The stars had aligned. She was going home. As she twirled about, a family cat Nilo eyed her from a strategic position near the fireplace. In a flash, she disappeared from view, escaping to a dark, safe place under the sofa out of reach. Sally smiled. It's for two weeks, she explained. Afterwards, we'll fly to Zanzibar and tour the spice farms. Earl frowned from a nearby doorway. I need to talk with you, Sally, he said in his I need to talk with you, Sally voice, which fortunately he didn't have to use very often. He ushered his wife into the laundry room and quietly locked the door. What are you thinking? He whispered, his face a mask of concern. We can't take Elvia with us. It's not safe. I thought we planned this vacation for just the two of us. Sally kept her voice low so Elvia wouldn't hear. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I know it's not what we agreed, but with Mrs. Siebert ill, we don't have a babysitter. We can't leave Elvia with a stranger for three weeks. It would ruin our trip. We'd be worried the entire time. Earl conceded the point. Elderly Mrs. Seabird, who'd cared for Elvia since she was an infant, was recovering from a heart attack. She was confined to a wheelchair and wouldn't be able to work anytime soon. 
and none of their relatives would step in. The leaves of the Hill family tree were scattered across the country. Earl's parents lived in faraway Miami in a retirement home that barred anyone younger than 55, while Sally's were always here and there traveling the world. Even Elvia's aunts and uncles were out of the question. They lived busy, child-free lives in Boston, Chicago, and Memphis. But it's so dangerous, he argued. Who knows what could happen? There'll be lions and cheetahs and leopards. Maybe we should cancel. Oh, let's not, Sally pleaded. We've already paid Safari Adventures up front with no chance of a refund. And Safari Adventures is a top-notch company. Remember what they said on their website? Safety is their number one priority. Reluctantly, Earl came round. $8,000 was a huge amount of money to throw away, and he and Sally were always on a tight budget. The safari was booked and paid for now. He nodded his assent and bravely squeezed Sally's hand. When he opened the door, he caught a glimpse of their daughter ecstatically cartwheeling through the kitchen, pots and pans clattering as they toppled to the floor. Earl and Sally had no idea, of course, that Elvia planned to use the trip as an opportunity to relocate to Africa. They were clueless, so the trip was on. Shh. <laughs>